हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू ई क्लास रूम फ्राम मौलाना आज़ाद नेशनल उर्दू यूनिवर्सिटी लेटस डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक स्किल्स ऑफ रीडिंग एंड राइटिंग फ्राम द जनरल इंग्लिश फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बी ए बी कॉम बी एस सी फर्स्ट ईयर लेटस डिस्कस अबाउट रीडिंग रीडिंग हैज मैनी यूजेज थ्रू रीडिंग वी कैन अक्वायर इंफॉर्मेशन नॉलेज प्लेजर ए लार्ज वोकेबलरी एंड ए गुड कमांड ऑफ द लैंग्वेज रीडिंग ऑल्सो हैज़ मैनी प्रॉब्लम्स वी आर सराउंडेड टूडे बाई मिलियंस ऑफ वर्ड्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बुक्स मैगजीन्स मैनअल्स एट्सट्रा इन मैनी लैंग्वेज इट विल भी इम्पॉसिबल टू रीड एवरी थिंग वी कम अक्रॉस वी मस्ट डिसाइड वॉट टू रीड एंड हैव टू रीड इट रीडिंग इन इंग्लिश इन ए पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट रिक्वायर्स द फॉलोइंग स्किल्स नॉलेज ऑफ अल्फाबेट्स बोथ कैपिटल एंड स्मॉल लेटर्स नॉलेज ऑफ स्पेलिंग हाउ लेटर्स आर कम्बाइंड टू फॉर्म वर्ड्स नॉलेज ऑफ ग्रामर हाउ वर्ड्स आर कम्बाइंड टू फॉर्म सेंटेंसेज नॉलेज ऑफ टेक्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हाउ सेंटेंसेज आर कम्बाइंड टू फॉर्म पैराग्राफ्स एंड हाउ डिफरेंट टेक्सट आर ऑर्गेनाइज सफिशेंट टू कैबलरी नॉलेज ऑफ इंग्लिश पंक्चुएशन नॉलेज ऑफ डिफरेंट रीडिंग टेक्निक्स इफ़ यू बिकम एन इफेक्टिव रीडर इन इंग्लिश यू विल हैव मैनी बेनिफिट्स बिकॉज देर इज़ नो लिमिट टू द नॉलेज और प्लेजर यू विल गेट थ्रू रीडिंग इन इंग्लिश द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन द इफेक्टिव रीडिंग इज टू डिसाइड वॉट टू रीड एंड हाउ टू रीड इवन इन अवर मदर टंग वी डो नॉट रीड एवरी थिंग द चॉइस ऑफ रीडिंग मटीरियल इज डिसाइडेड बाई वेरियस फैक्टर्स लाइक पर्सनल इंटरेस्ट रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ जॉब्स कंपल्शंस एट्सट्रा स्टूडेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल हैव टू रीड एवरी थिंग दैट इज प्रेस्क्राइब फॉर द सिलेबस डॉक्टर्स हैव टू कीप द नॉलेज अप टू डेट बाई रीडिंग मेडिकल जर्नल्स ऑफिस एम्प्लॉयज हैव टू गो थ्रू फाइल्स एन अदर फैक्टर विच डिसाइड रीडिंग इज द अवेलेबिलिटी एंड कॉस्ट ऑफ द मटीरियल The selection and the choice of the material is important in reading. Let us move to the purpose. We read for some reason. We may read a newspaper to find out what is happening around us. We may read a magazine to enjoy its contents. Students read a text for the purpose of answering questions in the examination. We may read an encyclopedia for information. We may read a novel for pleasure. So it is important to keep in mind why we are reading a particular material. Let us move to the strategies. It is necessary to learn different techniques of reading different materials. For example, we do not read a telephone directory in the same way as we read a newspaper. We scan a telephone directory for a particular number and we skim through a newspaper. These two techniques will be explained later. We study documents carefully. trying to understand the meaning of every word we must study textbook many times to remember the information in other words we use different strategies to understand different materials depending on their nature and purpose for which we read them we have to maintain speed an effective reader is one who reads quickly but un- understand everything only a poor reader will read slowly and will stop at every word when we read anything Our eyes move fast, taking in about three or more words at a stretch. The eyes may move backward and forward to double check. They do not stop to check the spelling or find out individual letters. With practice, our reading becomes fluent and silent. Loud reading should not be done except to practice pronunciation. Let us recapitulate. Reading is a very useful skill. It helps us to get information, knowledge, and entertainment. As you know. A person who cannot read will face many problems. To be able to read and understand English will bring many benefits. To become a good reader in English, you will have to improve your English language skills. Reading will help you to get those skills. There are different ways of reading different materials. Must be read differently. It is also necessary to read fast because there is so much to read nowadays and time is precious. There are different kinds of reading. We scan for information. We also read to get a general idea as in skimming. Then we read for a structure or organization of points. We also read to get detailed information from a text. In this unit, we will learn different kinds of reading. In scanning, we try to find specific information without wasting time reading every word. Our eyes move over the text quickly. till we find what we are looking for whether it is a name date number etc scanning is useful when looking at a railway timetable a telephone directory advertisement or finding a word in a dictionary 
there are two main ways of scanning a text. Scanning means looking at a written text and moving our eyes quickly over it to get the information we want. In scanning, we do not want to stop to read every word or every line. Scanning saves time and is a very useful practical skill. Let us move to the skimming. Skimming means looking quickly through the text to get a general idea. We allow our eyes to move about the page without stopping till we see the piece of information we are looking for. In skimming, we take the help of the layout of the page, headlines, paragraphs, headings, use of capital letters, etc. This technique is useful in reading newspaper and similar material. When we get the newspaper in the morning, we do not immediately start reading from page 1 to line 1. We skim through the pages to locate interesting or important information. Let us recapitulate. Skimming means looking quickly through a text, quickly to get a general idea. It has a practical value because it helps us in reading newspapers and other materials quickly. In skimming, we do not read every word. Let us know about reading for organization. Every text has a structure or organization. That is the way the points are arranged. The purpose of this structure is to help the reader to understand its meaning and move smoothly from one point to another. Most texts begin with an introduction and finish with conclusion. Without an organization, it will be very difficult to understand a text. All texts, whether small or big, are divided into number of paragraphs. Each paragraph deals with a particular point or aspect of the topic. Reading for details. Apart from reading for structure, we also read to get detailed information from a text. In this unit, we will learn details of how discoveries and inventions have been made. Sometimes, by chance or accident, inventions not the same things as discovery. Discovery find things that we did not know before. Inv inventors create entirely new objects. Let us move to the aspect of writing. Writing plays a key role in the educational system and knowledge preservation. Students at all levels have to write examination answers and at school level they have to do their homework, job seekers have to appear for competitive and selection tests in which they may be asked to write an essay, a letter or a report. Secondly, knowledge which has been accumulated for thousands of years has been preserved only through writing. Without writing, this knowledge would have disappeared. We have in addition other forms of writing, professional like doctors, engineers, lawyers, scientists, business persons, etc. have to do some writing connected with their work. Lastly, there is creative writing in the form of poetry, novel, drama, etc. which people enjoy reading. However, writing can be done only by educated persons, whereas even uneducated people can speak. Writing is considered both an art and craft because it involves imagination and control of language. Let us move to the writing process. Good writing needs careful planning. If you write down whatever comes to your mind, the result will be unsatisfactory. In order to make your writing effective and interesting, you have to keep in mind the following aspects. The reason for writing is called as purpose. Collection ideas or points known as contents. Arranging the ideas in a proper or logical order and linking them is called as organization. Following the conventions of writing, layout, spelling, punctuation, grammar called as correctness. Using range of vocabulary and being aware of reader is style. First, you must know why you are writing. Second, you should be able to gather relevant ideas or points by referring to books, newspapers, encyclopedias, etc. Reading also helps in acquiring knowledge. Good thinking leads to good writing and so you should develop thinking skills. You should be able to organize your material properly. Next, you should avoid mistakes in spelling, grammar, punctuation, bad or incorrect writing will not please anyone or fetch marks in the examination. Lastly, you should be able to use a wide range of English words and also have a sense of who is going to read your writing. The success of writing depends on the awareness of audience. Writing for a newspaper is not same as the writing for a scholarly book. Mechanics of writing. Spelling mistakes 
often affect the quality of writing. English spelling is very irregular. As in Indian languages, spelling and pronunciation do not match. So, when you say a new word, you are not sure how you should say it. Similarly, when you hear an English word, you cannot show of the spelling. For example, the sound is written in different ways k, ck, ch or q. There are no reliable rules about spelling in English. So, the best way to learn the spelling of each word separately, remember that spelling makes mistakes give a wrong impression that your knowledge of English is not so good. Follow the procedure and you can be sure of your spelling. Always check with the dictionary for the correct spelling. If the spelling appears to be difficult, write it down 5 times in your notebook. Close your notebook and mentally practice the spelling. Keep a list of words which are spelled wrongly by you. Remember that some spelling are different in American English. Spelling is primarily a habit. You have to learn to spell words correctly and make correct spelling an automatic habit. Since memory plays an important part in spelling, you should develop visual memory. Try to get a mental picture of the word by choosing your eyes and write down the word from the memory. Check the spelling and if it is wrong, repeat the process till you get the spelling right. To improve your spelling, look, cover, cover, remember, write. Writing paragraphs. All writing is divided into paragraphs. A paragraph is defined as a unit of writing containing a sequence of sentences. These sentences express a main idea and are arranged in a specific way. In modern writing, even a single sentence is used as a paragraph. A paragraph is separated from others by a space in between and hence is easily recognized. Mastering the art of writing. A paragraph is essential to succeed in any form of writing, whether it is an essay, a letter, a newspaper, an article, a novel, etc. The char characteristics of a good paragraph are topic sentence. A paragraph contains a central or controlling idea which is expressed in a topic sentence. Thus, the central idea is contained in the topic sentence. It may come at middle of the end or end of the paragraph. The remaining sentences in the paragraph provide supporting details. Let us know about the coherence. The sentences in a paragraph are interlinked by the same topic and also by the use of words and phrases known as linkers. These words and phrases are known as transitional devices and help us to follow the writer's line of thought by showing us how one sentence relate to another. Here is a paragraph about water. Let us study paragraph. Next to air, water is the element most necessary for survival. A normal adult is 60 to 70 percent water. We can go without food for almost two months, but without water for only a few days. Yet most people have no idea how much water they should drink. In this paragraph, the topic sentence is put at the beginning. The remaining sentence give more details. Coherence is maintained by repeating the word water. Recapitulate what we have studied. Reading has many uses. Through reading, we can acquire information, knowledge, pleasure, a large vocabulary and a good command of the language. Reading also has many problems. We are surrounded today by millions of words in the form of books, magazines, manuals, etc. In many languages, it will be impossible to read everything we come across. We must decide what to read and how to read it. If you become an effective reader in English, you will have many benefits because there is no limit to the knowledge or pleasure you will get through reading in English. The first step in the effective reading is to decide what to read and how to read. Even in mother tongue, we do not read everything. The choice of reading material is decided by various factors like personal interest, requirements of job, compulsions, etc. We read for some reason. We may read a newspaper to find out what is happening around us. We may read a magazine to enjoy its contents. We may read an encyclopedia for information. We may read a novel for pleasure. So, it is important to keep in mind why we are reading a particular material. It is necessary to learn different 
techniques of reading different materials. We study documents carefully, trying to understand the meaning of every word. We study textbook many times to remember the information. In other words, we use different strategies to understand different materials depending upon their nature and purpose for which we read them. An effective reader is one who reads quickly but understands everything. Only a poor reader will read slowly and will stop at every word. With practice, our reading, reading becomes fluent and silent. Loud reading should not be done except to practice pronunciation. Reading is very useful skill. It helps us to get information, knowledge and entertainment. As you know, a person who cannot read will face many problems. To be able to read and understand English will bring many benefits. To become a good reader English, you will have to improve your English language skills. Reading will help you to get those skills. There are different kinds of reading. We scan for information. We also read to get a general idea in skimming. Then we read for structure, organization of points. We also read to get detailed information from a text. Scanning means looking at a written text and moving our eyes quickly over it to get the information we want. In scanning, we do not want to stop to read every word or every line. Scanning saves time and it is very practical skill. Skimming means looking quickly through the text to get a general idea. We allow our eyes to move about the page without stopping till we see the piece of information we are looking for. This technique is useful in reading newspaper and similar material. Every text has a structure or organization that is the way the points are arranged. The purpose of this structure is to help the reader to understand its meaning and move smoothly from one point to another. Skimming means looking quickly through the text to get a general idea. We allow our eyes to move about the page without stopping till we see the piece of information we are looking for. This technique is useful in reading newspapers and similar material. Every text has a structure or organization that is the way the points are arranged. The purpose of this structure to help the reader to understand meaning and move smoothly from one point to another. Apart from reading for structure, we also read to get detailed information from a text. Writing plays a key role in the educational system and knowledge preservation. Knowledge which has been accumulated for thousands of years has been preserved only through writing. Without writing, this knowledge would have disappeared. However, writing can be done only by educated person, whereas even uneducated people can speak. Writing is considered both an art and craft because it involves imagination and control of language. Good writing needs careful planning. If you write down whatever comes to your mind, the result will be unsatisfactory. In order to make your writing effective and interesting, you have to keep them in mind the following points. Purpose, content, organization, correctness, style. First, you must know why you are writing. Second, you should be able to gather relevant ideas or points by referring to the books, newspapers, encyclopedias. Reading also helps in acquiring knowledge, good thinking leads to good writing and so you should develop thinking skills. You should be able to organize your material properly. Next you should avoid mistakes in spelling, grammar, punctuation, etc. Lastly, you should be able to use a wide range of English words and also a sense of who is going to read your writing. The success of writing depends on the awareness of the audience. Spelling mistakes often affect the quality of writing. English spelling is very irregular. So, when you see a new word, you should, you are not sure how you should say it. Similarly, when you hear an English word, you cannot be sure of spelling. So, the best way to learn the spelling of each word separately, remember that spelling mistakes give a wrong impression that your knowledge of English is not so good. All writing is divided into paragraph. A paragraph is defined as a unit of writing con containing a sequence of sentences. These sentences express a main idea or arranged in a specific way. In modern writing, even a single sentence used as a paragraph. A paragraph is separated from, the, from others by space in between and hence it is easily recognized. Mastering of the art of writing, paragraph is essential to success in 
any form of the writing, whether it is an essay, a letter, a newspaper, etc. The characteristics of a good paragraph are, a paragraph should contain central or controlling idea which is expressed in a topic sentence. The sentence in a paragraph should be interlinked by the same topic and also by the use of words and phrases known as linkers. These words and phrases help us to follow the writer's line of thought by showing us how one sentence relates to another. In today's lecture, you have learned about the skills of reading and writing. For the doubts and queries, please keep writing to the Directorate of Distance Education, Maulana Azad National Udu University, Gachibali, Hyderabad. Five zero 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 three two. Goodbye and take care.